our repro reproduction rear cross member came back from the machine shop, fabricating shop. So we have that here now ready to weld in. We've also gone ahead and put a coat of green paint on the top part of the frame here. That's uh, TM9 Shade 8. And while we were at it, we also went ahead and did the bottom of the reproduction trailer tub without even bothering to take it out of the crate. We could easily paint the bottom right there standing up the way it was. So next it's time to get ready to match these two up. Alright, what I've done now is I've gone ahead and taken the trailer tub that we painted the bottom of, set that upside down in the shop, and I'm going to set the trailer frame down on it. Now, we're lucky enough here to have a hoist we can pick it up with and drop it on there. Even so, could use a little help, but uh, with two or three guys, you'll be able to pick that frame up, put it on the trailer body, any, any place. Okay, now I got my frame laying inside my body. What I'm going to need to do now is pull up some clamps so that I can pull this back tight in the front, get the front back tight against, and then I'm going to have to clamp down the side here where it's, where it's pulled out that I'll get it in, clamped in tight so that I can do the welding. I also waited till now to fit that rear cross member. I can now fit the new rear cross member in, make sure it's going to fit up right and be in with the back of the trailer before I install that. So a little bit of clamping and tapping here where some things are bent and I'll be ready to weld the body to the frame. Okay, here we go. We got our welding done for the trailer to the frame. You can see there we got the three welds across the bottom. Three more up here. We also have them in the front. We've also installed and welded our rear cross member in now that was damaged and we replaced. So that's got the bolts on the top and then the corners are welded. Those sides and the welds up along the side of the trailer. One thing I hadn't mentioned earlier is there is a front and a rear to the trailer. If you'll notice the way the fender tabs are on, you've got a non-symmetrical situation here. This, this fender tab is behind the brace. That fender tab is on the other side of the brace. So the, tra the trailer fender is not exactly in the center. So it would theoretically be possible to weld your trailer on the frame backwards. It uh, wouldn't be the end of the world. You have to remove and reposition all those fender clips, but you're trying to avoid that by setting it on in the proper way the first time. As you notice, you've got two of the fender tabs are on the frame, and the rest of them are on the body. Also, note we took the time to position three of our welds inside the wheel well. That way, you just make a less cleaner appearance when the trailer is all done. You won't have as many welds visible on the outside. You just have the corner one and this back one and we'll have these two up here in the front that'll be visible. The other three in the side will be underneath the fender well. So just going to make a little neater job in the end. So at this point we might just do a little bit more painting uh, get this bottom of the running gear upper edges of the trailer and then uh, wheels and tires and we'll flip it back over. And we still have uh, Good bit of work to do yet. We've still got wiring and lights and all this stuff, but we're really making progress. It's really looking like a trailer now. Uh, at this point, we've put a coat of OD on the trailer while it's upside down. That way, with a coat of OD on it upside down, we could real easily get in here along this along this pipe seam on the top. We could get in behind the trailer hooks real nice. So that worked out good to put a coat of paint on it upside down. 
We also installed our taillight brackets, so now we're going to head into taillights and wiring next. All right, we've got taillights and wiring mounted now. I have the wiring running loose at the moment. I didn't put the clip set on yet. Check with your supplier when you're ordering wiring in such parts. This particular kit does not come with the connector I need for these three wires. I'll have to get that, then I can attach that. And then I'm going to use a clip set and run it along that frame rail. We've got the light on on this side. We've run the harness up through the frame rail. And we've come to the blackout, blackout uh, switch on the MB tree trailer. Now, even though we're using an M100 frame, we're trying to make this look like an MBT trailer. So we're, in we're putting the blackout switch in. And this thing takes a bit of work to get wired. All those wires got to be hooked up to different terminals and got to fit inside this housing as the rear cover goes on it. And then out here is the switch area. The end of that tilts open so you can turn it from blackout to non-blackout and closes. I've got to put the plate back on the end yet. And again, because this is a M, uh, M100 frame, got to draw a hole in the side rail here to locate that. So we'll locate that once we get it finished wired. Use your directions on your wiring. It comes with your kits. This one comes in the nice directions. And we've also got the intervehicular cable here that goes up to the Jeep. And again, we're using the World War II style. So we're going to complete this wiring. Here, we're drilling this hole. We've finished mounting up the switch. And on the next step. Okay, we've got the inside of the bed painted now. We've got the tires and wheels mounted. We had all the other stuff done. So we're ready to set this back down on the ground on its wheels now. Next thing will be a couple of fenders coming down to the end. So here we have our completed trailer after putting two fenders on it that finishes the trailer up. We didn't paint any stars or markings on it because we're going to sell the trailer. We leave that to the customer's decision which he wants and then we can put stars and markings on it. All the parts you see here are available through dnlbensier.com. We sell the body floors, trailer floors, side panels, fenders, uh, complete tubs. You can actually buy everything for the trailer as a reproduction item with exception of the axle. And as always, anything you've seen on this or any of our other YouTubes, safety is your responsibility.